Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be creating a simple form validation using JavaScript. I will create uh, one text field, maybe for a user to input their username, and I'll be creating a submit button, and when the user presses the submit button, this function uh, I'm going to write using JavaScript is going to be called, and it's going to check whether or not the user has typed something inside the username uh, text field. Now, because JavaScript is a relatively, or it's actually a really easy to, language to learn, difficult to master though, it's a le uh, okay, because JavaScript is a relatively easy language to learn, and because JavaScript, because of JavaScript's functionality to validate forms, some people actually learn JavaScript just for the purpose of, uh, to create form validations in their website or something when they want to create like a contact form. Okay, so... Uh, this is really useful. Now, before I type anything in my uh, script tag uh, as a JavaScript, let's create a form. Now, let's give it a name so that I could access it when I'm creating a function. And let's just create, uh, the name could be anything, it could be my form, it could be this form. Actually, I'm just going to say anything as my form name. And then we are going to have an attribute called action. Now, what that is, is basically it's going to send the data inside your form to somewhere so if you have like i don't know a send dot uh html file or even a php file because you have to normally send it to a database you have to uh, you use action to specify where you want to send it to however uh for the purpose of this uh, video you don't really have to worry about it so i'm just going to say action equals main html because this uh document name is just main html now the next one is on submit. Now on submit, it's I need it to do something. Now when I submit it, I want to return the value of a validate form. Now validate form is the function I'm going to create now. And then if I if the user hasn't typed anything inside, I am going to return false so that it's it doesn't submit. And I'm going to pop up an alert box to say you need to type something into your username but if it returns true which uh, if it returns true it's going to go through the submit func uh, submit and it's going to send the data to main.html and you need other codes in order to proceed but we are going to we're not going to worry about that so let's just carry on and the last thing we're going to do is method and the method attribute basically you can uh, in this case we are going to write post now when you are surfing the web i'm not sure if you've noticed but when you're like typing something uh, when you're uh, i don't know clicking a button like inputting something in some random website and you press button like a submit sometimes your url gets like method equals get and there's like question marks and there's loads of random uh jumble letters and numbers inside now the method post doesn't do that because sometimes you want to uh, put security inside your e uh, form. Now, if you're like creating a form to do a logging or you're requiring some uh, sensitive data like your uh, the user's first name or something, you want to hide it from the URL. That's for basically for security reason. I'll talk about that in my PHP uh, tutorial videos later on, but uh, just for this sake, uh, I'm just going to keep it as post. Oops, I don't need that. Uh, that's it. So form name equals anything, action equals HTML, on submit, return, validate form, and method is post. And let's create a username field, input type equals uh, text, and name equals username. So this is the name of my input field. Oops, there we go. And let's create... Oh, Let's create an input type, so many typos equals submit, so I'm going to create a submit a button and I'm just going to give it a value of submit. It's just going to say submit inside my button, like so. And then I'm just going to uh, just quickly type my close tag for my form, a uh, form. And now inside my script tag, uh, let's create a function. Function uh, validate validate form. 
like so and inside here we are going to write some code now we are going to create an if statement to check if the user has actually inputted something inside if like so and if that happens it's going to do something and if it doesn't it's going to do something now in order for you to be able to check if the user has inputted something into the text field we need to create a variable we don't have to but this is one of the ways I do it so let's just say var uh, uh, text var text equals and we are going to say document dot forms and we are going to give it two values the first one is the name of your form itself so I named my anything just because you can actually name it anything and inside here we are going to write uh, type in the name of your input uh, field and over here in my username we have input type equals text and I named it a username so I'm going to say username and I want x to uh, I want text to give get the value of my uh, input text field so x is going to be the value of my username text field so we're going to check if this text has received anything or not so if text equals equals null means that there's nothing inside or or is just two straight lines or uh, text equals nothing so we have nothing string there's nothing inside the string what you want to do is give uh, give the user an alert saying that uh, please a uh, username must be filled in or something like so and then we want to return false so that the form doesn't uh, submit this uh, the data because there's no data in this case. Now let's save our work and refresh. Oops, uh, yeah, confirm, that's fine. And we have a username and we have a submit button. Let's try saying, uh, I don't know, John or something and submit. Oops, uh, that's weird. Uh, let's check what's wrong. Oh, nope, uh, that's five our text equals document.forms. Uh, anything which is the name of my form and the username and I want the dot value and function um, um, uh, let's put this variable inside our function like so and we submit yep continue and something there we go okay I just needed to insert my uh, variable in within the function so now it's going to work let's uh, refresh it continue and then let's type in uh, John or something into my username text field and press submit and it's just submitted it or we didn't uh, return any errors now let's not type anything it's going to be blank and press submit what that does is it's going to give me alert saying that username must be filled in now this is one of the ways in which you can create a form valid simple form validation where it checks whether the user has entered something into the text field. Now there's loads of different uh, other uh, validations you have to do. Say uh, if you if you have a database, you have to check whether the username is a correct username and it matches the password stored in the database, or if it's if you're creating a form for a new registration for like a forum or I don't know like YouTube or something or like an email in your hotmail.com or something you want to check whether that uh, username slash email has already been taken or not and that's all the uh, data giving and taking from your database and that's basically all PHP stuff which you will learn later on in my next video we are going to be creating another validation and in this one, on the next one, it's going to be email validation. So look forward to that.